going on guys we're back in the crib today and i have a special surprise for you guys i got some brom racing seats so these were the things i was talking about in earlier videos saying that i have something in store for the future and i also actually got sponsored by a company recently and they sent me some custom car mats diamond stitch car mats so i'll be unboxing those today too for you guys and i'm super excited to see what they look like so let's get right into it. All right, so let's start off with the diamond stitch floor mat. So I went with a uh, red stitching and black uh, mat to match the interior that I already have going on in my car. And this is actually by Luxus Car Mats. So I'm gonna put their ID somewhere over here. And let's get right into the unboxing or unbagging. So. They wrapped it pretty well. So it's soaked up with that. Okay. Gotta be careful I don't cut the mat. Okay. Okay, so we need a better lighting, so I got a, a headpiece I always use when I work on my car. And oh, I can start, so you can see the diamond stitching already. See that? That shit looks so far. Oh my god. Alright, I'm super excited. Hold on. Sheee! Let's take it out. And also, they're custom because they actually put my Instagram handle, Twinzilla, stitched into the mat. So, yeah, they did, they did a good job with this stitching so far from what I can see. I just wanna rip this shit open right now. I can see the stitching. All right. Yeah. It's more like a music song. Damn, bro. It really packed this shit. Okay, so I think these are the rear mats that go on the back. Yeah, this goes in the back. That's what the rear mats look like. I'm gonna put them right here for now. And these should be the ones that have the, my handle Twinzilla. You show them right there. Should have that stitched onto them. And the cable is getting in the way. One side, Godzilla. They do a really good job with the stitching. Yeah. It says automobile on the little button right there. What is that for? Oh, it's for like to secure it into your car. These little knobs. And then this is the other side. This is the driver's side. That's so far. Oh shit! And if you look over here, they have a little pocket. That's fire. So like you could put your phone there and stuff while you're driving instead of just keeping it on your lap or like in a cup holder, you could actually put it right here. Wow, that's so sick. That's actually so fire. That's really convenient. Dude, I'm so hyped for these. I'm also gonna be heading towards my storage unit and I'm gonna be gutting the car. So hopefully I get that done before it gets too dark outside, but yeah. This is the, the floor mats. I've been waiting, I think I waited around like two weeks for these, which is not bad at all for them being custom stitched and all that. And yeah, once I put them in the car and I use them for a little while, I'll come back to you guys and give you guys a full review on how they're holding up and everything like that. But I'm really impressed with the quality of the stitching right now. And I can't wait to throw them in the queue. So we'll get back to you guys when we get to the queue. So it's the next day, it's, what's today? Today is Tuesday, December 19th. And basically yesterday I was just 
not feeling up to removing the seats and just doing all that work. So today, I'm gonna be doing that. And today we are at AutoZone, one of my favorite places to do work in the queue. So with that being said, I'm gonna get right into uh, removing the rear seats and the passenger seat I have here. So these are what the old car mats look like. You're, they're about four years old. This is my fire extinguisher. I'm gonna be attaching that to the harness bar. But yeah, these are about four years old. The driver's side is completely cooked. Like it has torn hole in it. Just terrible. So yeah, let's just pop these out real quick and I'll get right back to you. Okay, so mats are officially out of the car. It's not too bad. I gotta do a little vacuuming back here. So yeah, as you can see, these mats are pretty fucked up. They're all torn up from four years of use. They they held up pretty well. Uh, I can't complain, but it's definitely time for these babies to go in. So when you first wanna start off removing these seats, I think they use a 14 millimeter um, socket and you have to pop off these plastic pieces right here. So there's two in the front and then there's two in the back. You're gonna have to push the seat forward to get the ones in the back and then it should pop right out. But then you have to disconnect all the wiring that's underneath. But before you do that, you definitely wanna disconnect the battery just in case if any airbags, you know, you, whenever you're working with airbags, you always want to disconnect the battery. So let me get to that right now. So usually what I want to do is I want to use a flathead to pop these plastic pieces off. So I usually just use a flathead screwdriver, go underneath. And they should pop right off with your hand. Once you get underneath there, same on this side. So, as you can see, the two sockets are right there and there. They, like I said, they should be 14 millimeter. Let's see if I can find that. Should be right here. I hope I'm not blocking the shot too much. I'll put my flashlight on. Once you loosen that first turn, you should be able to take it off with your hand for the rest of the way. Okay, that's one bolt. And that should be two bolts. Right. Okay. So now you want to move the seat up a little bit more to gain access to the back. Get my tools out of here. Okay, so now we have access to the back. Do the same exact thing. <laughs> and then we got a guy revving in the background, of course. People always want to show off a little bit when they see my car. I hope I'm not blocking the shot too much. I don't even know what the fuck this is. Okay, there's one. This one I might be just able to do with my bare hands. There you go. And that's two. Now I just gotta break these off. These bolts off. Okay. Over here. Oh, not going to try, but oops. Okay. It's kind of hard doing this. 
Okay, so that's the four screws that hold it down. Now I should be able to lift the seat up. Yep. The seat completely moves. Now I gotta go disconnect the battery. I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just gonna be removing the negative terminal on the battery just so that I know when I'm disconnecting any type of airbags, nothing is gonna go boom in my face. So I'm gonna do that right now. I believe this is a 12 millimeter. Yeah, 12 millimeter. I'm gonna undo that now, and then we're gonna get back to uh, undoing the wiring underneath the seat. So what I always like to do for safe measures is once I disconnect it, I like to put like a rag or some type of cloth just so the two terminals don't end up touching each other while I'm working on the car, because that would be really bad. So yeah, I just put a piece of cloth or something in between. Okay, so now that I've disconnected the battery, I'm gonna safely be able to disconnect all the wiring underneath the seat. Let's lift the seat up a little bit. Supposedly these seats are like almost 90 pounds. And let's see if I can show you the wiring underneath. So if you guys can see underneath, there's all these wirings. And this is the airbag. Um, I'm gonna end up pushing out all these little white clips and everything like that and then the seat can just come right out all right so let's start off with the airbag okay then you got this big one right here might need that flathead again Okay. Damn. And then I gotta remove this. So in order to remove that white clip, you have to pull this down a little bit, get a pair of pliers and just squeeze it and it'll pop right out. Let me see if I can do that quickly. Put this back down. So I'm going to try to use a hooked needle nose pliers just because they're in an awkward angle to reach. Let's see if that'll work. So you got to pull this down slightly and then you squeeze this tab and it should pop right out like that. Just like that. You gotta do it to the other side, and then you gotta disconnect whatever's left, and you're good money. And then you're good money. Okay, that's all out. Now there's one more in the middle, but to be very honest, I don't know if I'm even able to reach that one. So I might just cut that one. That's out. And then there's one last one at the bottom. It's black. And the seat is fully disconnected. Okay, now onto the rear seats. So for the rear seats, it's super hard. You ready? You just grab it. There we go. That's one side, it just pops right out. And you just do the same for the other side. Let's see if I can set you up over here. Damn. And it's out. <laughs> it doesn't help being six foot one and trying to work in this fucking coop. Ah, cramp. And I still don't have my ice cream. Okay, so bottom is completely loose. Now to do the upper portion. All right, guys, I got everything back in the car. Got a lot of shit just laying around. The seat's completely loose. Uh, my storage unit is literally like one block away. Um, as you can see, now that I disconnected this seat, this uh, light is going to pop up on your dash. Yeah, you see that airbag light right there? The airbag is not connected, but I bought something to hopefully resolve that issue and I'll be showing you guys that 
once I remove this seat. Okay guys, we just made it to the storage unit. Uh, I'm gonna be taking the seats out now and bringing them upstairs and hopefully taking a lot of other bullshit I don't need in the back of my Q60. It's not too bad. You know, I could use a little vacuuming. I think I have a handheld vacuum. Got a couple coins. Nothing crazy though. No dead mice. That's always a good thing. So I said I had a lot of shit in my trunk and uh, I was not exaggerating. This isn't even half the stuff. So I'm gonna continue emptying my trunk so I can take out these rear seats over here. Look how much more stuff I have. <laughs> All right, let me get to it. Just to show you guys how much shit I had in my trunk. All this shit. <laughs> and I still got a couple more things in the trunk. So yeah, I was able to fit all that shit in my trunk. Okay, so this little flap comes up and it exposes two bolts. One there and one there. I think they're a size 12, I'll let you know right now, let me see. Okay, so the two bolts are actually uh, 12 millimeters. So I'm gonna remove them right now. That's one side out. Careful, you don't lose the bolt. Side real quick. Here. Okay. Oh. Okay. Both bolts are off. So the rear seat is about to just literally pull right out so I'm gonna do that right now and then I'm gonna figure out how to get this top portion off top portion of the seat it's actually way harder than the bottom portion as I'm finding out just now this whole piece pulls back and yeah all these screws back here gotta go here over there over there and then when you pull this back you also have to disengage this mechanism right here that connects to the trunk area I guess that's the the little lever that you pull that releases the seats. And I gotta take this off. So let's do that. Okay, so I popped it out. And now, I guess this goes <clears throat> right over here, right there. Now I gotta unscrew all these bolts that connect back here. Okay, I just saved you guys the trouble of watching me try to get these bolts out. I kind of cut open my finger but it's okay my hands okay now all I got to do is remove the two bolts for the seat belts and then this whole part should just pop right out this part is actually really fucking heavy I don't know how much this weighs I wish I brought my scale with me maybe I'll do another video on how much the seats weigh exactly but yeah let me just get these seats out right now these bolts are actually 14 millimeter and these you need a 14 millimeter deep socket we made some progress. We got the bolts out there. 
You definitely need a longer extension to get that bolt out because that requires a little bit of leverage. But yeah, just make sure you keep all the bolts in the right place, the seat belts, uh, buckles, and I'm gonna put all these in the same bag or container or whatever and label them so you don't misplace them. There we go. Got my pinky. So, it took a little longer than I expected. That's the top of the rear. It's the bottom, passenger. All together, that has to weigh over 100, 120 pounds. Definitely. But this is what the car looks like now. Completely gutted, pretty much. This, like I said, I'm gonna figure out my zip tie that. This folds down like that. It's not too bad. Not too bad at all. You know what? I might zip tie it like right to this. Yeah, I might do that. The only thing now is that my trunk will always be open. So, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I might build something to block this maybe add a plywood or something like that maybe i'll put some plywood on the bottom just to make it look cleaner i don't know we'll figure it out but yeah let me get all this shit upstairs into the unit and then start straining everything else out so we got the passenger seat we got the whole rear seat upper and lower part we got a bunch of Random shit, tripod, fucking cleaning products. I have jack stands, <laughs> fucking concentrated Gatorade that you remember Stitch drank from. Yo, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> and then just the old mats. And yeah, just pretty much in the comments below, put it down how much weight you think I'm saving off the car with all this shit. I'd say around like 150. 150 well we'll see when I'll, i'm gonna be throwing the car back on a scale you can see how dirty she is i haven't cleaned her in a very long time she definitely needs a detail very soon and let me get all this shit in the storage unit and then get back to you guys in the car all right guys i just brought up everything that i wanted to put in the unit and i'm gonna be throwing it in now that was fucking hard Turn these bitches on. Put it right there. Alright. Let's turn all these puppies on. Oh shit. That one fell. Uh oh. Well, I'm gonna have to find somewhere else for this one. I'll leave it there for now. guys we're done putting away everything in the storage unit now it's time to use that little portable vacuum cleaner clean up the inside of the queue and yeah call it a day for now and the next video i will be installing the braum bucket seats so keep on the lookout for that so i'll see you guys next week deuces